There's a big problem in this. Oh, that's sad. See that? That's sad. We just got shot. What is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today is Halloween. We're fishing North Shore today. The swell is supposed to be 50 to 20 feet today. The swell did not show up. There's towing surfers all full in the harbor because it is surf season in Hawaii now. Uh, but the swell's a little late, so bad for them, good for me. We're gonna try some deep bottom today. I went solo mission today. Uh, Henry went well, the night before last. He had an epic night, Nipachi fishing. So that was that yesterday. They had a, a epic trade. They got a, some my, some Akus and stuff like that, so pretty epic. And uh, for you guys wondering about Roy Boy, he is coming back. He's coming back for Thanksgiving for 10 days. So let me know in the comments if you want to see Roy Boy back on the green machine. But uh, let's push him through. Let's get out of here. And uh, honestly, I'm not that much of a bottom fisherman. I'm still trying to learn. You know what I mean? I learned some stuff from my dad, but basic stuff. My dad didn't show me all the tips that he knows. He used to commercial bottom fish before. But uh, let's see if we can get lucky today. And here we go for the dream, boys and girls. If you can, hit the like and the subscribe. Why well, post new videos every Sunday, 7 p.m. Hawaii time. We might be moving the time. I think we might be going to um, 5 p.m. Hawaii time. Just help our East Coast and uh, West Coast, boys and girls. Here we go for the dream. Let's get out of here. So here on the North Shore, there's lots of buoys. There's a lots of uh, the shark tours out here. So um, they put buoys on and stuff like that to attract the sharks and stuff like that. Let the tourists go swim. Uh, but there's a couple. There's a couple of uh, floats out here that's put out by the boys. And sometimes hold Opelu. That is not one of them. There's some there's some bait marks on it, but there's no Opelu. So I want to find some Opelu because we're going to deep bottom fish today. Uh, so we're going to go outside. There's about four or five other buoys out there. I do have Aku Belly for bait, Skipjack Bay for bait. That's really good bait. Um, just in general. So we're going from bottom fishing to shore fishing. But uh, let's go outside and hit up one of the other buoys because this thing does not have anything on it. Let me show you. Those are all different buoys that have marked. So we're going to hit one of those now. All right, boys and girls. Hold on, here we go again. Boat number two, let's see if this thing is holding. There's another boat here, so it's always a good sign. This is the second one on our mission, so let's see. Right there. If you, if you find these like 30 miles offshore, that's what definitely what you want. I don't see anything on this thing. Let's try to turn this gain up. I don't see much on here. Not much, not much. I'm gonna pound in my boat right now. The other guys said that there was a pelu, but the pal is finicky. We'll see. There's a there's definitely a big pond in my boat right now. So I'm in the area. There's a there's a big pile on there. I gotta hurry it down. These are just campania, little worms cut in half. Oh yeah, there's a good pile on there. I don't see no sharks yet, which is always a good thing. It don't sled, I go heavy. I want it heavy, I don't want to the float. Let's see if we can get some of There you go, boys and girls, for the dream. First shot of the day. All we need is one to jump on. And all this time to jump on. Oh, I got, I got. Yes, sir. I got one on. Oh. So the thing with Haliva is you gotta watch out, the sharks. The sharks are fierce here. I'm not marking the sharks in my record. Oh, there's a big pond in me. There's a big pound in me. Oh, that's sad. See that? That's sad. We just got sharks. We just got sharks. We just got sharks. That hurts. That was the first drop of the day. Up on Haliva. Took everything. He took it all. Damn. There's a big pound in my boat right now, too. Huge pound in my boat. All right, I'm going to reset. All right, let's go. That's a pound there, but that's sharks, that's sharks. Lots of sharks, lots of sharks. I kind of screwed up today. They always say, yeah, I go early, a crack of dawn to get Opelu. It's later, it's about 7.45. So I kind of missed my window, so I'm looking for that real late bite. Hopefully get lucky. Like I said, for the kind of fish I'm doing today, I don't need a whole lot of them. Just a couple, just a couple. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. Never give up, never give up. Right guys, never give up. 
Oh, there's a flower right there. Oh, they're high. They're high. They look like sharks. They look like sharks. That is definitely shark style belly. <laughs> All right, let's go check one more boy and we're out of here. <laughs> All right, so we tried Opelu this morning. Not too good, kind of horrible. Too late. Um, but we're about to start fishing. Deep drop, we're about 130 fathoms. A fathom is six feet, you do the math. Musubi, as always, you guys know it. To get something, you have to give something. You guys gotta feed the sea god, everybody. Musubi, it's his favorite. Let's drop this. After we drop this, we're gonna drop our line. We're in a spot that I think it might be good. We'll see. All right, everybody, here we go for the dream. It's lovely. That's lovely. We're starting to fish now. All right, let's go. Let's get this action show on the road. He's got three pound weight, three pound lead, which I poured last night. And our lines. Let's get overboard. And that's how we do a deep drop stall. Now we're fishing. Let's get this pole to the bottom and we'll go from there. And that right there is in meters, not feet, it's meters. All right, we'll see you back shortly, hopefully. What a fish. Tell you what, if you came to watch me struggle today, this is the day. I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm no fit bottom fisherman. I'm trying to learn. Not even close to be mediocre good. My goal today is very simple, one fish. That's my goal, very, very simple goal. One edible fish, that's all I want. So here we go, we'll see. Hopefully soon, after we get a bite, hopefully, hopefully. Could be a little while. We're on the bottom now, 240 meters. What, 130 fathoms? And now we just wait. We just braid for this because it's so deep. Number one, you need the capacity. And number two, with mono, you'll be able to see the bite because it's stretching the line. Drop number two. I think drop number two had some bites, but I wasn't paying attention. I had a business phone call. Pretty sure I missed the fish I had on. Because I brought it up and I was missing baits and I had a couple good bounces and I totally messed that up. So this is drop number three. Drop number four. See ya. Drop number five. This is drop number six. I'm not sure. Still no fish. Never give up though. We got one fish on, boys. Our first fish. 200 meters down. He's really put up a fight now. He's taking line. Hope it's not a kahala or a shark. I don't think so though. I think a shark would have, would have came out for it, but a kahala fight's hard. No idea what it is. He's on the bottom. He's not coming up yet. I don't want to boost the drag too hard. And push up the speed too much because you're made up of off, you know what I mean? We've been trying, it's 10 30, we've been trying a long time today. The first bet of the day. Definitely don't want to lose them. Definitely want to lose them. Trust me. My head hurts already. I got heat stroke over here. Yeah. So this is the first bottle of fish on the mole I was like, you know what? There's only one person I know who to call, and that's Roy Boy. So Roy Boy is watching live right now on my phone. <laughs> Roy, say what's up? Roy. Guys. See? <laughs> I told you he's there. Still fighting, Roy. Still fighting. I got 63 meters left, Roy. 60 meters? 63 meters. Oh, shoot. Okay, he's, he's only... He's got about 20 more fathoms off the bottom. Looks like maybe 50 more fathoms. Look good size, you know, coming up. Roy, look like a full string to up here. Full string to Ape, baby. What, full string to Ape? I got about 10 pounds to go. This is exciting. I was waiting for this all day. It finally happened. Fighting the whole from top to bottom. So we learned something today. Whatever this is, fights top to bottom. <laughs> so if you hook something in a deep like this, and if I top to bottom, it's probably going to be one of these. Whatever this is. Somebody right now is an experienced bottom fisherman is watching this as like, that dummy, he has a Kahala on. I hope it's not a Kahala. I really hope so. I got color coming up, Roy. I got color coming up, Roy. I don't know what it is, Roy. I got color coming up, though. Oh, it looks edible, Roy. I don't know. But it's floating. Oh, Roy. 
Kahala. Big Kahala. Ah, it's a big Kahala? Yep. Big enough for he's gonna die. That big. Oh, they what, 15, 20 pounds? Said he's 25 pounds. Dang it! Ah, oh, where's those pockets? There, that's what we got, Kahala. Not what we wanted, but that's the first fish, first bottom fish. Yeah, normally these have worms, but who knows? Yeah, well, I'm gonna go reset. Yes, I'm gonna reset. I'll call you back in our bite. Yeah, keep it. Beat him out real good. Oh, no way watch today. We got a fish. So maybe every five drops we get a bite? I don't know. I have no idea. I hope not. I guess we learned something so, so far today. I know I learned something. <laughs> he fights from top to bottom like that. It's definitely a Kahala. I think it was taking line at one point coming up. But they fight top to bottom, it's a Kahala. I mean, that was telling me, that, yeah, Kahala's fight more hard than Alua's. So that guy was fighting definitely top to bottom. I need something good to eat, because that Kahala is full of worms. We'll sell that with people for a few of that guy. But I'm not eating that. Drop number eight. It's been a long day so far. It's 12.30. Uh, I got to be out the water by like 2, 2.30, because I have to go take my kids trick or treating tonight. But I talked to Tyler a little while ago. I said, Tyler, I'm having a hard time. I'm, I'm not really catching anything. He said, where are you at? I was like, North Shore. He's like, it's probably one of the harder areas to go is North Shore. I was like, all right. He was using Palu. I said, no. He goes, oh, there's your problem number two. I was like, oh, great. So, I guess we're in the range. Not really marking fish on the recorder, though. I have a good recorder. I should be able to mark them. I'm marking some fish here and there, but it's kind of sparse. I think I have to do a trip somewhere far, far away. Somewhere that's not so easy access. But uh, we're going to give you a few more drops. I think we're going to do drop number 9 right now or number 8 right now. Hopefully we get something because that Kahala sucks. I'm not eating that Kahala. <laughs> I'm definitely not eating that Kahala. Alright everybody, for the dream. The dream is still alive. Never give up. You guys know it. Alright, here we go. I'm going to look for something else. Over here, not so much. Today wasn't the, the best day, I guess. And we caught a Kahala and stuff. And you guys definitely saw the struggle today, you know what I mean? I don't mind showing you guys the struggle. I think, I think it's only fair that... I show you guys everything. I mean, whenever I go fish, I show you guys the videos. I don't keep the excellent days. I don't show the good days. Throw away all the bad days. I mean, I've been showing you guys pretty much every video whenever I go fishing. Except for sometimes if I go with my family and stuff, we're just kind of screwing around. I don't bring my cameras. I mean, I bring my cameras with more like personal videos for the family. Nothing, nothing real YouTube quality, I guess. Um, but I try to show you guys everything. I mean, I guess today's video is more for the young fishermen. The young guys out there are starting out. The guys are fishing. You go fishing, you get discouraged. I mean, don't think that. Every day is a banger day, you know what I mean? I show you guys a lot of good days. I'll show you guys so much bad days. And today's a, not a bad day, but it's not a great day. It's all about having fun, I mean? I didn't catch anything really easy. Like, I caught a call, I guess I could eat that, but it's honestly, it was more about the experience. And the way I look at a day like today, if you don't catch nothing, do what you're trying to do, what you had in your mind. For me, my goal in my head was to catch one edible fish bottle fishing. I didn't set some extravagant goal, but I need a thousand pounds, you know what I mean? My goal in my head today was one good bottom fishing fish is what I wanted, and that was my goal. I didn't hit my goal, you know what I mean? That's fine. But I learned that, I guess, speaking of Tyler, I, I definitely gotta bring some polo, you know what I mean? I gotta be polo when I'm going like this deep bottom. And I guess maybe, North Shore is a little, it's a learning curve, you know what I mean? I like North Shore because it's close to my house, but I gotta go some other places, I guess. And for all you young guys out there, never give up. You know that, never give up, you know what I mean? I would stay out here until dark if I could. It's 2.30 now, I have to be home. I have to still watch boat solo by myself. Take about two hours. I have to take my kids trick or treat tonight. So if it wasn't for that, I'd be out here all day. Uh, but I guess that's it, guys. Ups and downs of fishing, you know what I mean? You gotta love it. Never give up. It's still an epic day. I still had a blast with you guys. Thanks for fishing me today. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you can, hit the thumbs up, hit the like. Uh, it helps a lot. Hit the subscribe. We post new videos every Sunday. 7 p.m. as of now, but I think we're going to move to 5 p.m. I'm thinking. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I want to know about the East Coast guys and some of the West Coast guys because it's really late for those guys. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next week. As always, tight line, see fish. We'll see you on the water, under the water. Roy, boy, go back and study. I'll see you in a couple weeks, buddy. All right, man. Hello. And thank you very much for fishing me. I had a blast today. Is that what it? about the fish? You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hot to see. And the farmer man, you want to plant this
Call 